Now that there are more reports of Tesla moving possibly to Austin, Texas, people express their worries and concerns about Tesla's possible difficulties in Texas because of the direct sale prohibition. I will explain it a little later in this report. Many people think that Texas has banned Tesla from selling Tesla vehicles. This is not an accurate claim. In this report, I am going to address the claim that Texas banned Tesla and is against green energy. There is a well-known refrain that Tesla is banned in Texas. That's somewhat true, but not completely. For example, you can buy a Tesla online and pick it up at a delivery center in Texas. Many Tesla owners have done this. My Twitter friend Joanne Kreider has published a good article in Cleantechnica addressing and explaining this claim that Texas has, Texas has banned Tesla and is against green energy. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan on this Monday morning from Charlotte, North Carolina, from torquenews.com. It's great to see you here. Let's start the day with some wonderful stories stories from Texas and Tesla and uh, Giga Berlin, a very interesting story coming from Shanghai. If you would like, please subscribe to our channel, join our community and let's get started. Let me start by saying that you can buy Tesla in Texas. Tesla already operates more than 10 galleries or showrooms across Texas, but they are prohibited from selling any cars because they aren't actually dealerships. Because of the Texas law, employees of Tesla's galleries in Texas are barred from taking orders or even discussing the price. If you want to buy a Tesla in Texas, you can go to a Tesla store in Texas, do test drives, get Tesla service. The only difference is that a Tesla representative cannot order the car for you. They show you how to do it uh, on your phone or on a browser on your phone. Uh, changing this is is just one simple bill for government Abbott in exchange for 1000s of jobs and millions of taxes. I have seen people tweeting this. After you have made the order, all paperwork is done remotely via FedEx DocuSign from Fremont factory. Um, I assume this may change soon. So let's see what our friend Joanne says as she addresses the claim against Texas and Tesla. So Joanne writes, I lived in Texas once, long before I knew anything about Tesla or electric vehicles in general, and visited the Tesla showroom at North Park Mall in Dallas. I remember thinking it was a strange to have a car showroom in a mall. It was strange for me too, actually, when I saw it the first time. At the time, John continues, cars in general didn't really interest me. I don't know how to drive and grew up, uh, I didn't know how to drive and grew up uh, most of my life without the use of a car. My last memory of my own mother's car was as, was as rushing to get out just before it exploded. If you had told me five years ago that I would be writing about cars and clean energy for a living, I probably would have thought you lost your mind. I dig uh, digress. Earlier this month, I posted the following tweet and had several Tesla owners educate me. Keep in mind that I am human and sometimes the word I am trying to express eludes me. In the tweet, the phrase I used was direct sales. I should have said Tesla should remove the ban they have against allowing Tesla shoppers to buy directly from the manufacturer in a Tesla store. My tweet received a few replies, some written in anger that I was spreading misinformation. If I was, I didn't mean to, and I'm hoping to right that wrong by addressing this misconception here. Perhaps this will also benefit those in Texas who are considering buying a Tesla electric car. Rumors often block people from doing things they want to do. Let's cut through the rumors and find out the kernel of truth uh, this idea originated from. Uh, so I tweeted, hey Texas, if you really want Elon Musk to move Tesla's headquarters there, consider removing the ban you guys have against buying Tesla. Hey Louisiana, take note. So how wrong was I? Mojo Susan, a Tesla owner in Texas, shared her thoughts with me and explained how this idea originated. Quote, I think it's important to tell people that you can buy and service Teslas in Texas. What people have twisted is the fact that in Texas and many other states, you cannot buy a Tesla from a store. 
We don't have stores. Instead, we have showrooms. This, I think, is from the car franchise and big oil lobbies. I think the lobbies give more money to politicians to prevent direct Tesla sales. Mojo Susan wrote to um, uh, Joanne. Let's continue. Many states have bans against direct sales in Tesla, but Texas is one of the most well known for it. Perhaps this is related to the fact that Texas is an oil state or just that it's really big. Louisiana is also an oil state, incidentally. According to Investopedia, the United States is the top oil producing country in the world. We produce an average of 17.87 million barrels a day and this accounts for 18% of the world's production. Texas is one of the top producing states. You can test drive Tesla at the Tesla stores and galleries in Texas. Here is a map showing the location of the old US Tesla.com finds us borders. You can actually go to uh, Tesla.com and see uh, where you can find Tesla on Texas. Susan has her own pitch as to why Texas is an amazing place for Tesla to set up the Gigafactory or Terra Factory. Here is why Tesla in our state is amazing, right Susan? Continuing, we are an oil state. What better, way, what better way to transfer from fossil fuels than to come to Texas? It's brilliant. I think too that people forget that there are many people who depend on the oil industry for most of their livelihood. They are worried about today, not the future of our earth. A program training oil workers to install solar roofs work at the Gigafactory solves that. End of the quote. She also points out that many Twitter users were against Tesla being in Texas due to its bad green record. I think in order for a state to be green, it needs to have the green brought there. How can you expect someone to go green if they don't experience it for themselves? Speaking of clean energy, Susan shares this tweet saying, we're better than at ground zero. It's actually pretty amazing. Give specifics on what we need to do. By the way, I have traveled all over Texas. It's the cleanest state I've ever seen. I want clean energy. I'm asking in earnest. Texas is four in solar in the United States. A recent article by the Financial Times, Texas, how the home of US oil and giant fell in love with solar power, echoed Susan's thoughts by saying that a boom in solar projects is happening all across Texas and these projects are the threat to fossil fuels. Clean Technica has written about the clean energy revolution in Texas many times. Texas leads the nation in wind power capacity and also led the nation in new capacity added last year. By the end of 2018, Texas had 25 gigawatts of wind power capacity installed, making it the number one state in the country for that and if it uh, was a uh, country, it would have been number five in the world. That means 25,000 jobs and $46 billion in total capital investment, resulting in $307 million in landowner payments in a year. It was also already a leader in solar power capacity and is currently fourth in the country in terms of installed solar power capacity. In mid-2015, the state landed the lowest solar power project bid in the world. It also led in rooftop solar prices per watt. All in all, Texas power capacity was 30% carbon-free by the end of 2018. 23.4% of power capacity coming from wind power. Since then, the state has gone even more rapidly toward renewable energy. Texas now has 4,324 megawatt of solar power installed and 29,407 megawatt of wind power installed, which accounts for 17.5% of the state's electric production. With Tesla, and abundant clean energy in Texas. I believe that we can remove the black stains of oil and see the green underneath. Hopefully, Louisiana can take notes as well. Well, friends, thank you very much for listening and I appreciate uh, also Joan Kreider's, uh, Kreider for this uh, very interesting insight. Let me know what you think, please. Let me know if you think that uh, does this uh, 
uh, does this report and information change your perception about tesla and how it approaches to uh, green energy and uh, actually the, does this change your perception of texas and how it approaches to green energy i think we, we brought some clarification on the issue and therefore i believe that texas would be a great location uh, for uh, tesla coming to Austin area. But later today, I'm hoping to bring you another report talking about the benefits of Tulsa in Oklahoma. If you have any information, if you would like to comment below, that would be greatly appreciated and I will have some uh, report bringing to you. Uh, let me know what you think about these things. Do you think this is a great way of transforming Texas oil industry into green energy industry? Because like Joanne mentioned, uh, you need to bring lots of green companies so you can train the oil workers to work in the green industry like in Texas or other electric car makers or solar power and things like that. So you can like she mentioned at the end remove the uh, oil um, how did she said let me take a look so you can uh, remove the black stains of oil and see the green underneath thanks for watching friends have a wonderful rest of the day let's continue the discussion in the channel uh, in the comment section below i'll see you in our next report god bless you and see you soon in the next report